Welcome to 100% Mark. I'm your host, Jane AIBot, and today we're delving into Tony Khan's thoughts on the possible expansion of AEW Dynamite to a three-hour format. Let's dive right in. In an interview with CBS Sports, AEW President Tony Khan discussed the potential expansion of Dynamite to a three-hour format, a move previously undertaken only by WCW Nitro and WWE Raw. Here are the key points. Regarding the prospect of extending Dynamite's runtime, I appreciate the added flexibility that comes with a three-hour block. It allows for more comprehensive follow-ups on earlier events of the night, greater coverage of our wrestlers, and deeper storytelling. Expanding opens up additional opportunities for utilizing our roster. Reflecting on Will Osprey's impactful social media promo, had I been aware of it, I would have adjusted scheduling to include it in the third hour broadcast. This highlights the advantages of having more airtime to accommodate compelling content promptly. It enhances our ability to follow up on significant developments, which I find very fulfilling. Considering the implications of a longer format, maintaining Dynamite's strength is paramount. One must analyze the historical outcomes of extending wrestling programs from two to three hours. Presently, Dynamite stands out in terms of viewership per hour. However, the question of whether a three-hour format would be more lucrative arises. We're already committed to a minimum of five hours of weekly programming. Thus, it prompts an intriguing dialogue on the optimal allocation of programming nights. Is five hours optimal, or should we consider expanding to six? Extending wrestling television to six hours per week could introduce the risk of fan burnout, a phenomenon stemming from various factors. Viewer fatigue, wrestling fans are an ardent bunch, but demanding six hours of their time weekly might be a stretch. Think about it, with jobs, families, and other interests competing for attention, expecting fans to consistently tune in for such a significant chunk of time could lead to fatigue. It's like binge-watching an entire season of a show in one sitting, it's doable, but not sustainable in the long run. Example, imagine a fan who works a 9-to-5 job, commutes, and has family commitments. By the time Dynamite rolls around on Wednesday night, they might already be feeling drained. Now, multiply that feeling over six hours of programming throughout the week, it's a recipe for viewer burnout. Quality over quantity, while more airtime theoretically allows for deeper storytelling and broader wrestler coverage, there's a catch, maintaining consistent quality. Wrestling thrives on captivating storylines, compelling characters, and engaging matches. Stretching resources thin across six hours risks diluting the overall product, potentially resulting in lackluster segments or repetitive storytelling. Example, consider a wrestling promotion that expands its flagship show to three hours. With more time to fill, creative teams might struggle to generate fresh ideas or develop meaningful character arcs. Fans might notice recycled storylines or filler segments, ultimately leading to disinterest. Diminished specialness, wrestling events are like a rare treat, they're anticipated, celebrated, and remembered. However, increasing the frequency of televised programming risks diluting the specialness. When every night feels like a wrestling night, the novelty wears off, and fans might become less inclined to tune in regularly. Example, think about WrestleMania, WWE's flagship event held annually. Its allure stems from being a once-a-year extravaganza, packed with surprises and marquee matchups. Now, imagine if WrestleMania happened every month, it wouldn't feel as special, would it? Impact on live events, live events are the lifeblood of wrestling promotions, providing an opportunity for fans to experience the action up close. However, with six hours of weekly television, there's a risk of overshadowing these live events. If fans can watch all the action from the comfort of their couch, why bother attending in person? Example. Picture a wrestling promotion that extends its TV programming to six hours, leaving little room to promote upcoming live events. As a result, ticket sales might suffer, and the atmosphere at live shows could be lackluster, impacting the overall experience for attendees. 
Attention span, in today's digital age, capturing and maintaining audience attention is more challenging than ever. Longer programming runs the risk of losing viewers' interest, especially if the content fails to remain engaging throughout its duration. Example, with the rise of short-form content on platforms like TikTok and Instagram, attention spans are shrinking. Six hours of wrestling television might be too much for viewers accustomed to consuming bite-sized content. If the programming fails to hold their interest, they'll likely switch to something else. In essence, while expanding Dynamite to three hours presents opportunities for deeper storytelling and roster utilization, it's crucial to weigh the potential consequences of further extending wrestling television to six hours per week. Striking a balance between providing more content and avoiding fan burnout is essential for the long-term success of any wrestling promotion. Tension Wrestling Aficionados Get ready to plunge into the electrifying world of professional wrestling. Don't miss a single heart-pounding moment, make sure you're locked in, subscribed, hitting that like button, and turning on notifications to catch all the action. Here's what's in store for you each week. Mondays and Fridays. Join Big Time and Paulus Clark for live reviews of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. Tuesdays. Tune into the New Japan Rebound podcast with host Miguel Z. Catch the live review of AEW Dynamite. Thursdays. Get the inside scoop on the Week in Preview podcast, covering all the major shows from Thursday to the following week's Wednesday. Saturdays. Stay updated with the Catching Up With podcast, recapping the week in NWA Power, NXT, Ring of Honor TV, and the latest episode of TNA Impact. Sundays. Join Big Time, Paulus Clark, and Miguel Z for the weekly Roundup podcast at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Dive deep into the week in wrestling, breaking news, major storylines, and insightful commentary. We sincerely appreciate you spending your valuable time with us. Your support means the world to us, and we're thrilled to embark on this journey and discussion with you. Together, we're a tribe, and together, let's continue to thrive. Stay connected, stay engaged, and let's make every week unforgettable in the realm of professional wrestling.